Hello there. It is Thursday morning and I have a little bit of time before I head out the door for the day. So I thought I would make some clothes. Um, so what I'm doing is making clothes for flattening. She showed up in my mailbox uh, maybe a week ago and so we have been beating around town, taking pictures, so I thought before I send her back to the grade 2 class that uh, sent her to me, well actually they sent it to my friend Valerie in Abbotsford, and then she sent it all the way over to me in Holyrood, Newfoundland, sent her all the way over to me in Holyrood, Newfoundland, and now I'm going to send her back to where she came from which is the Sun Valley School in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So I thought for fun, rather than just send her back the way I found her, I thought I would um, make her some clothes. So these are grade twos that, that have sent out flat Nadine. So I thought grade twos would get a kick out of her coming back um, and having shopped in Newfoundland. So what I'm gonna do is make her some clothes and I'm going to make her a little suitcase to put back in, you know, her clothes in. So, anyhow, let's make some clothes. All right, here we go. So she came with this letter. So now this is way easier than having to um, make clothes for real people. Okay, so what I was thinking, let's get, now I've got markers. Oh. Oh, look, Sharpies, like, this is my candy. <laughs> this is my crack for an artist. Okay, and like, it's not good enough, then I have my thin Sharpies. So depending on what we want to do, we have thick, we have thin. Either way, we're going to get clothes for our little lady. And I have a bunch of these different papers, so let's make her some shoes and maybe a dress and some stuff. All right, so it's going to be quick and dirty. Quick and clean, actually. Yeah, that's it. All right, so let's start by making her... Let me see, will she fit a jacket? She needs a rain jacket for being in Newfoundland, right? Okay, so if it had to be this way, then we have to turn it around this way. And then we'll draw it out. So this is my my easy cheater method. Okay, let's see. Where is she? Let's pull it up like that. Put her in the middle. Okay. Like I said, this is just gonna be quick and fun. Okay, let me draw it out. That way, this way, give it a little flare, that way, give it a little flare on the jacket, whoop, a little flare that way, here let's flare up the sleeve too. Alright, so that should give us what we need. I know it doesn't look like much, but it will be. So, okay, here's our jacket. Uh, lost my scissors. Oh, they're there. So we're going to make her a yellow raincoat. So we'll chop this off that way, chop that off that way. Now, I mean, if only making clothes for ourselves would be this easy, hey? Wink. A bit of flare. Bit of flare, flare it out a little more as I cut, because you know you don't have tight-fitting raincoats, right? That's right. All right, let's see, how are we looking? Okay, now she needs a bit of neck here. <laughs> she's a little, she's a little choked up. Here we go. Uh, and where is her cut off? Let me see, she could go, let me get like two. I think here is our coat line. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use deep blue to give 
give her some outline, make it more exciting. And then we can do details in the clothes. There, our sleeves look good. We'll go down this way, down this way. Make her a little bit fashionable. Huh? There we go, along the bottom. So this is our raincoat for Flat Nadine, who's heading back to Winnipeg. A little cuff here, a little, little button. Gonna be done up. Let's do button, 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 button. All right. Oh, that's adorable. Here, let's just put a little trim on the bottom of her coat. Bink, bink. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So there we go. We've got Nadine's raincoat. Now let's just cut out the neck. Even our black lines there from our Sharpie marker. Cut along here. Like I said, this is only for fun. Just to, you know, send the, the grade twos back something fun from Newfoundland. And then, hopefully it will forever be embedded in their mind. Look! First item. Raincoat. Oh, is that sweet or what? So let's write on the back, raincoat. Raincoat. Adorable. All right, now I think she needs, let's see, I've got this blue paper. What can we do? Let's make her a pair of skinny jeans, right? Skinny jeans out of blue paper, you know it. Hello, Marina Woodford. Hi, honey. Have a great day. I have to drop the kids at school. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, let's turn this over. Let's get her going. Where is she? Okay, we got her on the line. So let's do it on the back to get her shape. On the back to get her shape. See where her pants end. Hold on. She's a little off balance, I think. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, gotta keep her dead on. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that's better. Flip her over again. We are in the process of making skinny jeans. Okay, let's cut this out first. Uh, which one is the straight one? Uh, oh, skinny jeans for Nadine. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to make. Um, all these little, you know, wool pom poms, and I would. Oh look, her pants are so cute! <laughs> all right, I would make uh, little pom poms, and I don't know this may sound crazy, but I would make the pom poms, put eyes and everything on them, and I would make families of pom poms and put them in situations like just sitting in the living room and the mom would be knitting and the dad would be there and oh, I'm gonna mark off her feet where her skinny jeans end there and here all right so here we go we got our midnight blue marker again we take it off of Nadine so that she doesn't get covered in deep blue. There we go, skinny jeans for flat Nadine. They're high-waisted like the 80s. 
And here we go. Oh, yeah, right. Putting the dark lines in there just gives it a little bit of definition. So I'm going to give her a cuff on the bottom of her pants. Yep. And here we'll do like a little do up thingy and little pockets. Oh, it's adorable. All right, here we go. Make her skinny jeans shorter. All right, now we have skinny jeans because the weather in Newfoundland was just too cold for her. And we have her jacket. Look, she's got new clothes. <laughs> All righty. Here we go. Skinny jeans. All right. Now let's pick a whole other color. I like this orange one here. This is pretty fun. I think we can make her a pair of shoes. Let's make her a pair of shoes. What color shoes does she want? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got that and that. What do I need? Red shoes? No, let's do this. Orange shoes. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, you gotta do it backwards. Okay, one foot. One foot. So there's one. We'll see how short it needs to be. Maximize our paper. So let's do this here. All right, let's try that out. Okay, so that's for you. Okay, so right now we're making Nadine. We've got a jacket for her. And we've got skinny jeans. Marielle Burton. Hello, Marielle. Nice name. Used to love making these as a kid. Time to try it with my kids. Thanks. Right? Sometimes we gotta, like, do the kids stuff, even when we're adults. I don't even have kids, but it's kind of my job now, so I'm a perpetual child. <laughs> Which is why I was so jazzed to do this for the little kitties, the grade twos in um, Winnipeg that are from Sun Valley School, who sent me Flat Nadine as part of their social studies project. So she's, Nadine has already been to um, Abbotsford, BC. So she's a well-traveled woman. And let me see, where do her shoes end? Oh, I wanted to make her, uh, I wanted to make her rubber boots as well which I thought would be funny. Okay, so her shoes in there and here. So we'll cut those off. Now we're making another shoe for Nadine. I just remember when I was little and then we did these, you know, like little projects. It was just so fun when, you know, you got extra stuff back in the mail. So what I'm also going to do for the grade twos is uh, put in some postcards for the class, like Nadine brought back um, some souvenirs from Newfoundland. So that should be funny too. Da -da -da. Okay, top of the show and the top of the shoe. Okay, so these are her shoes. So where's her other one? All right, get our marker. Let's see, how do we make these look like shoes? Mm -hmm. There we go, shoes for Nadine. Probably some good walking shoes since she was here visiting Newfoundland and we know what the hills are like and the trails. Okay, I'm gonna put little laces on them. So let's just go. And we'll do dot, 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 and here, let's do 
same thing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do like a little lace. And let's do another lace. Laces across the top. And laces, laces, laces. All right. And we have shoes. There we go. Let's cut off the top of these. Look, they fit our. <laughs> oh my God. So we got shoes for her, <laughs> and we've got pants for her, and we got a jacket for her. Look at her with her new outfit on. My nerves. Uh, she could use a hat. Yeah, I mean, she can't be wearing all this stuff together because her patterns are clashing. Maybe like a sun hat? What do you think? Sun hat? I don't know. What other colors do I have? I kind of have already orange, blue. I guess this beige might be nice too. I don't know. Beige? Nah, color, right? Okay, we got shoes for her and a jacket and pants. Are you excited, Nadine, or what? Yeah, how do I? I think I probably do it this way. All right, let's let's get a wide brim hat for all the sun we get in Newfoundland. How do I do this? Okay, I'll lower her down. Save my paper. So the hat's gonna come off like this. I have to do it this way. What does her hat look like? No, she needs a wider brim. Okay, here we'll go. Whoop. Wide brim. Over the head, and then another brim over this way. Yeah, this might, might be the weirdest looking hat ever. Yep, probably is. Whatever, right? Let me see. So it's got to. How does it come across her head? See if this ends up looking like a hat. There we go. There we go. <laughs> kind of looks like a UFO, not exactly a hat. Let's see how we make it. Out. Um, maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll join it. Oh yeah, it'll have to be the brim of the hat. All right, let's see how our hat looks. Cut it out. Because you know, for those few sunny days in Newfoundland, you actually do need a hat. <laughs> and if you're smart, it's waterproof. Because then it will double when it rains. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what our hat looks like. Oh, yes, my God, fits are perfect. Sure, I'll put sun, rain. I think that's all the clothes she needs for now, just for a little fun. Oops. So what do we have? We've got, got our hat. So we've made sun rain hat. We've got skinny jeans. We've got a jacket. 
for the grade twos in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And she's got shoes. I probably should make mitts for her, but I think that's all she gets today. Uh, all right, so now the other thing I wanted to do was, what I'm gonna do is make her a suitcase as well so that her clothes go back with her. So I think we'll fold her pants in half so that I can make a small suitcase. We will fold her hat in half. We'll fold her jacket in half. I'll fold it right on the line so it folds nicely. Alrighty, got that. Oh, I should take a picture of her, right? Yeah, oh well. Now, I have to make a suitcase that can fit this. Uh, I think we're gonna make it orange. So here's the, the suitcase. Actually, let me leave her there in view. Boop. Let's see. How do we make a suitcase? Is there any way I can fold this in half and everything can fit in? No. Okay, we need two oranges, orange pieces of paper. This is our suitcase that's going to fit our clothes. Okay, let me see. How big does this need to be? All right, well, I can make it the width of the paper, so we will, this will be our top line. And then we'll make a handle along here. That's gonna be hilarious for the kids. Okay, here we go. Here's the handle for the luggage. All right, and then we'll do the details on the luggage in one minute. So I'll just cut these together. Oh, actually, maybe I should do the dark lines first. It's easier this way. Uh, there's my little chimney. Luggage happening there, there biggest handle ever, but Nadine has big hands. And then we'll go whoop. All right. Cut off our corners, make it a little goochier. Nadine has to travel in style. My handle's not even centered. Oh, where's my other piece? I'm supposed to be cutting these together. There we go. Let's get at it. We're making a suitcase for flat Nadine's clothes to go back to Winnipeg to Sun Valley Grade 2 School for their social studies project. Uh, how do I get in here? I guess I just gotta jam it in, right? Yep. Here we go. The key is to not use your marker when your paper when it's on top of your paper because it will go through your paper. Here we go. All right, we got the makings of a piece of luggage. Nice orange piece of luggage. Okay, so we got our front and our back, so let's do some detail, make it look more like luggage. Here we go, here we go. Let's do like a strap, like luggage would have. All right, now let's 
do the back piece, just like the front piece. This is actually pretty fun to do. I feel like a kid, which is awesome. And down we go. Down we go. Yeah, let's put her name on it, hey? We'll do like an asymmetrical. Like travel sticker.